I think it's uh, it's very reasonable. It's safe, uh, and everybody should uh, everybody should have a plan. And like I said, superior firepower. Now let me show you. I've been loading up uh, my magazine. This is for one of my favorite weapons. My AR-15. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. There it is. This, uh, this is a beauty. It's, um, the civilian version of the M16. It, um, it's very accurate. I have an EOTech holographic sight on it. So that while I'm I'm looking at my target, I could I could look anywhere. I could almost look around the corner. And as long as that is lined up, I pull the trigger, it's over, Jenny. It's over. But there is a problem. Now this is where I'm not that crazy. I'm safe. This thing will tear through some walls. Could upset the neighbors. Could upset the neighbors if you're missing and uh it uh, hits a, a wall. It's just sheetrock. It's going right through it. Um, you don't you don't want the rounds to leave your house. And you know you got a single shot coming out of here. Obviously, as fast as you pull the trigger, the uh, the rounds are coming out. So uh, I, I I think the people whoever's in your house is going to be running at that point. But um, but you don't want that much collateral damage. Uh, beautiful beautiful weapon, but not recommended for home security. Believe it or not. But I do have a reason to have this for home security. This is your last uh, last resort weapon. This is if you're backed into a corner, uh, there's really nothing else to do. There's more people in your house, perhaps five people now at this point, um, and, and they're really coming at you. Uh, this thing, you could, you could just light them up. Just spray the whole area. Hope for the best. Last resort weapon, but very nice. Intimidating, it looks great. Uh, it's loud as all hell. And uh, it should chase people away, it really should. But not my first uh, pick as far as home security goes. My first pick is a standard, a staple throughout history. The 12 gauge shotgun. And this is a beauty. This one's used by uh, our boys on the Border Patrol. It's a wonderful weapon. Just that sound, that sound alone is enough to usually uh, chase people away. You rack a shotgun, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Uh, keep some extra rounds around just for uh, emergencies. But this one is gonna take care of a few people at once. And if someone comes in uh, to your room, uh, you're aware that they're coming, you don't have to be as accurate as you do with a rifle. Or a lot of hot shots love the pistols. They love having pistols in the night table. I have no problem with that, that's fine. But uh, again, you're, you're working with a single round this baby's gonna spread out. So you're, uh, you're gonna be able to take care of a few people at once, or at least one guy, if he's coming in, especially if he's laughing, thinking he's, uh, he's got your peg, it's over. You hit the big target, you hit him in the groin, uh, the chest, whatever. Uh, the police ain't gonna be putting up the yellow tape for you, my friend. And your biggest problem is gonna be calling up a maid that's gonna mop your floor after the mess that this thing leaves. Believe me. And you'll feel better knowing that you protected your loved ones. Yeah, exactly. I just, uh, because I'm demonstrating, I don't wanna rush. I don't wanna sit here not being secure. If someone flies through that window right now, I'd look like a silly goose, wouldn't I? With an unloaded weapon. But uh, the 12 gauge, it's a great weapon, it really is. Uh, now, for you gangsters out there, these things might, uh, you might, you might call them pussy, I don't know. 
You might not like them. This is the weapon of the street thug. Yo, it's the AK. Kleshnikov, the AK-47. The preferred weapon of every terrorist on the face of the earth. Uh, like was stated in um, the Clint Eastwood movie, uh, Heartbreak Ridge makes a very distinctive sound when fired and uh, it, it'll scare people away. But again, a lot of collateral damage, it'll go through the walls. But um, believe me, a lot of thugs understand this weapon and know what it can do. It's devastating. Devastating for a rotten, commie weapon that it is. Uh, but it's good to have around the house. It's short, uh, very dependable, uh, easy to clean, easy to break down. Um, and like I said, just devastating. AK-47. But again, the 12 gauge for home security. Uh, then there's your collector's guns. This really is not, uh, if you're swinging this one around your house, you, you got some trouble. You better not make this your first line. It's the uh, British Enfield. Hey, my lord, look. Look, lovey, there seems to be an intruder in our house. Let, let me use my belt action and fire. Like, it, it just ain't gonna work. It's, it's a fun weapon, it's a big round. Uh, these were the Nazi killers back in uh, World War II. The, the British uh, used this one to um, clean, up the, uh, clean up the Third Reich. A uh, fun weapon to have, but as far as home security goes, destroy it. Why get off the subject? Uh, well, there you go, superior firepower. Um, I also suggest you spread these out a bit around the house. So you don't know. Is it going to be your bedroom? Is it going to be the office? You're going to be caught in, uh, in uh, your laundry room, your, your bathroom? I don't know. I don't know. Look at what your vulnerable spots are in your house. And, uh, and put some weapons there. You will be so happy if something happens and you're prepared for it, trust me, who will be? Uh, again, I've, um, I've been called uh, paranoid, but um, I just refuse to be a victim in my own home. It's gotta be the most embarrassing thing to have uh, something devastating like happen in your own house. Then you gotta move. How are you going to stay in your own house when your your wife or daughter has just been been ravaged by uh, some criminals? You gotta move. You can't go in the room there and go, oh, remember that, honey? Remember when I was crying on the floor with duct tape around my mouth, bleeding from the head by being pistol whipped, and three guys were gang banging him? <laughs> Good times. That's right where the Christmas tree is now. Not fun. But if you could celebrate at the spot where you left somebody dead, now you're talking. Now that's something a family can gather around, rally behind. Uh, well, I guess I guess that's it. That sums it up. Uh, at least I didn't have uh, Opie or Jimmy Norton. Um, goofing on me, I was able to just state my piece uh, without, without being uh, ridiculed. It's Captain Morgan and Coke, by the way. Wonderful. But with the 12 gauge, you don't even have to aim, so it's not like uh, this impairs anything. Mm. Mm. Well, I plan on. Uh, doing a few more um, podcasts from this location uh, on various subjects that we cover on the air that I don't think I'm able to really get out with the uh, passion that I, uh, I want. Um, and without being uh, rudely interrupted by uh, my cohorts that think I'm um, paranoid or crazy. I suggest you listen to these clips and keep them in mind because uh, could save your life and the lives of your loved ones. Thank you. 
I'll uh, see you next time, right here in my office.